Hi, Matt here, and welcome to M2M, and welcome to another edition of Quick Updates. I want to tell you about Lofted. What is Lofted? Well, it stands for Low Earth Orbit Flight Test of an Inflatable Decelerator. <laughs> None the wiser? No, neither was I at the start. Well, simply put, it's an inflatable heat shield. Yes, you heard it right, an inflatable heat shield. You see, for a while now, scientists and engineers have been trying to find ways to decelerate spacecraft entering the atmosphere of planets much sooner and much higher in the atmosphere, especially on planets that have thin atmospheres like Mars, for example, where the only option currently for landing things on Mars is a combination of traditional heat shields, parachutes and small rocket engines to slow down enough for a soft landing. Now, having a wider heat shield would give you much greater surface area to decelerate sooner and a much higher out altitude in the atmosphere, which also goes a long way to mitigating much of the re-entry heating. But that just isn't practical with traditional materials for heat shields because of the mass and weight involved and also the restrictions you have within your payload. So the solution to that is to make it inflatable. Well, that's exactly what the folks at Langley developed and tested on Thursday from low Earth orbit. The good news is the test went really well and as planned and it appeared to work well. With a splashdown and a recovery of the heat shield and the spacecraft in the ocean. Although there's still much more testing and demonstration to do for NASA or anyone for that matter to start using this technology for future missions or even manned flight, it does open up some exciting possibilities of landing much bigger payloads on Mars and other planets that have thin atmospheres in the not too distant future. The other possibilities are relanding upper stages of rockets and reusing them here on Earth. As it stands right now, relanding upper stages of rockets is impossible due to the velocities involved. But that could soon change. So some really interesting times ahead with this new technology. In other brief news, um, as at the time of this making this video, as it you never know, it could still change. Artemis 1 has been delayed once again to the 16th of November due to another storm. I'll be covering that launch live. Uh, find the link in the description or the link appearing above me here. I think it's just here, yeah. Um, well, I hope you can join me in watching that. Well, that's all for me. Until next time, take care.